Volume Two. This is how Chinese characters are formed. The icons for all the sports in the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games have a Chinese character. Ren. Ren represents athlete. Also, the beauty and strength of sports. In ancient times, the character Ren was written this way. Ren is a single element character composed of two simple strokes. It can also be used as a component to form a complex character. Cong represents one person following another. Zhong. Indicates a lot of people. The right part of xin is yan, which means speaking. Xin implies that one tells the truth and is honest and reliable. A man and woman are represented by different characters. This is the single element character. In ancient writing, looks like an obedient woman kneeling on the ground. It is an image of a woman who obeys men in China's ancient society. This is her child. Zi looks like a child stretching out his or her arms. To somebody for embracing. Look how close are "ni" and "zi." The two single element characters, as components, form the complex character "hao." A Chinese character has six basic strokes. Hang, horizontal stroke. Shu, vertical stroke. Pie, sweeping left stroke. Dian, dot. Na, sweeping right falling stroke. And ti, rising stroke. These six basic strokes make up components, which are then used to form different characters according to regular structures. The basic structures of Chinese characters are up-down structure, left-right structure, encircling structure. Well, aren't these Chinese characters simple? As a radical at the right side of other characters, "dao" is usually written as "li dao pang." The left part of "li" is "he," which looks like crops. So the character "li" originally means to gather crops using a knife. "Ren" means blade, with the dot indicating its position. As you've seen, Chinese characters are not difficult to write. And they also embody meaning in the form. Isn't it interesting?